And welcome into hour number four here of Good Day Virginia. Now 801 on the big teleprompter. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alex Zambalakian. And I'm Lauren Taylor. We begin this hour in Danville where crews have been keeping a lookout on a landfill fire near Ringgold. It broke out at first Piedmont landfill around 7.30 Wednesday evening. Well, this fire is still not fully contained. Eleanor Buckley joins us live where a thick cloud of smoke continues to suffocate the area. Eleanor, is this almost contained? What are those bulldozers now doing at this hour? Jason, is there anything in your forecast today that may help crews with those flames? Uh, actually, some rain showers are going to be making their way through. In fact, the possibility for some very... And some of those immigrant children being held right here in Virginia. This is one of those facilities funded by the Office of Refugee Resettlement, and it's housing dozens of children right now in Prince William County. Now, since 2012, hundreds of unaccompanied immigrant minors have stayed at the facility. No local or state money is used to fund it. The money comes from a federal contract with the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Mayors from across the country head to the U.S.-Mexico border today. They'll be looking at some of the conditions inside an immigrant detention center for children outside of El Paso, Texas. They'll also share their reaction to President Trump's recent executive order to stop separating children from illegal migrants that cross the border. In with County, a man accused of slitting a woman's throat and then holding her grandson captive. SWVAToday.com is reporting that Harold Noll has been charged with unlawful stabbing and abduction by force. There's no word on the condition of the 72-year-old woman who was slashed and then flown to a hospital in North Carolina. We'll bring you updates as they become available. A Roanoke County school slated for demolition will host students for another year. Cave Spring High School will host all high school students grades 9 through 12 in its current building at the start of the next school year. This comes after school officials had already planned to remodel the school. It was built 50 years ago. The only construction bid for the project exceeded the school's budget by $17 million. School officials say they're disappointed at the situation, but they're still committed to the project. Demolition was supposed to have already started. Now crews will hope to begin construction sometime during the next school year. Crews will be busy fixing leaks and putting the library back together now that students will be back in the fall. And some more changes coming to Lynchburg's police department. 11 new officers will be formally sworn into their positions today. Today's ceremony starts at 2 p.m. in the Lynchburg City Council Chambers. And if you're looking for work, look no further than Central and Southwest Virginia. Two cities in our region, Roanoke and Blacksburg, ranked in the top 10 best metro job markets for 2018. A California-based job search site used data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics to rank the top job markets based on how much local wages rose, unemployment dipped, as well as their current jobless rate. San Jose, California was number one, followed by Blacksburg at number six, and then Roanoke ranking number 10. It's one of the biggest maintenance issues car owners are facing right now. Recalls. Manufacturers are recalling millions more vehicles than at any other time in U.S. history. About 46 million vehicles so far this year, and that's according to the U.S. federal government. And many drivers don't realize their vehicle is actually under a recall. Steve Sabrakia from our sister station, WNCN, has the story. A group of Louisiana children are pushing Blue Bell ice cream to be more inclusive by changing the name of one of its flavors. The Great Divide flavor combines chocolate and vanilla in one container. The kids love it, but they notice that the name makes them think of racial divisions, which, unlike the ice cream itself, leaves a bad taste in their mouths. So they came up with a new name called Better Together, and they Aww. sent their idea to the company. They posted their letter to Blue Bell on Facebook, and it's been shared more than 12,000 times. The company had glowing praise for the children's effort, and WFXR News did reach out to the company to see if they plan to respond to the children directly or if they will change the name of the flavor, but we haven't heard back from Blue Bell as of yet. What a sweet story. Uh, it's great. Literally. I need to get a pint of Better Together. I love it. I love it. And yeah. chocolate, vanilla, I mean. And it rolls simple. off the tongue. Yeah. Not the, what was it, the Great Divide? The Great Divide. Yeah. Yeah, no. No, better together. I like it. I do. It's, it rolls right off A the top. A for effort. Hey, maybe, there maybe you go. Maybe uh, Blue Belt will we'll get on I it. I think kids maybe. should run the world. They're just smarter. <laughs> they really are, and they're just <laughs> a lot more easy going. You know, we can learn yeah. a lot from kids. Exactly. All right, a first of its kind in Virginia. A new brewery will now be.